Hi all, welcome to another video of the subject power system analysis and based on the KTU syllabus and we are on module 6 and in this video we are going to discuss the solution of seeing equation by point by point method. So as we know the seeing equation is h by pi f into d square delta by dt square is equal to pm minus p and uh, the we know this h by pi f is equal to m so moment of inertia that we know and uh, the p e is equal to p max into sine delta and uh, the accelerating power p a will be equal to p m minus p where p m is the mechanical power input and e p is the electrical power output and uh, p m minus p max into sine delta if we are substituting the value of p here it becomes p m minus p max into sine delta and uh, if you are substituting these values in the main equation in the main sing equation this h by pi f becomes m m which means m into d square delta by dt square is equal to instead of this p m minus p we will substitute this p a and uh, by rearranging that we will get d square delta by dt square is equal to uh, p a by m okay p a by m so this equation is a non-linear equation we know that and uh, during the transient state the value of delta the torque angle is a function of time okay it's a function of time t and so we are denoting the angle delta as okay the angle delta as delta of t okay delta of t you can see here and uh, in point by point method the solution of delta of t is obtained by dividing the time into small equal values of delta t okay that is the entire time that is the entire time range of interest is divided into number of small equal intervals of delta t okay so using that uh, we are finding the solution of seeing equation by point by point method and the uh, accelerating power and the change in speed are also continuous function of time and uh, they are discretized as follows okay the accelerating power p a computed at the beginning of an interval is assumed to remain constant from the middle of the preceding interval to the middle of the interval being considered okay which means that is uh, if this is a graph of uh, time versus p a and uh, here if you are considering the interval of n minus 1 okay this is the uh, interval we are uh, considering n minus 2 n minus 1 and the nth interval you can see here and if you are considering the n minus 1 so the accelerating power p a computed at the beginning of an interval that is the, the beginning of this n minus 1 this interval okay we are considering this instant n minus 1 okay beginning of the interval is assumed to remain constant from the middle of the preceding interval the preceding interval is this this one okay this one okay that is n minus 2 to n minus 1 so the p a will be constant from the middle of the preceding interval so you can see here the PA is constant from this point to the middle of the interval being considered and we are considering now considering the interval of n minus 1 and then n so uh, the value of PA will be constant from the middle of the preceding interval to the middle of the interval being considered okay so likewise we are uh, drawing the we are do, doing the discrete decision of the PA okay and uh, this is the corresponding continuous solution if you are joining okay the continuous solution and uh, the next one is the angular velocity okay it is also a function of time we are assuming that and uh, it is assumed to constant throughout any interval this constant value is the value corresponding to the midpoint of the concerned interval okay so the angular velocity will be constant throughout an interval so the interval here you can string n minus 2 to n minus 1 it is constant and from n minus 1 to n it is again constant and the corresponding value of omega okay the value of 
omega will be the midpoint of the concerned interval so here the interval is n minus 2 to n minus 1 okay n minus 1 so the midpoint is here okay this is the midpoint okay that's why we are considering the midpoint the value as omega n minus 1 divided by 2 okay and here the midpoint is this one n minus 1 to n okay and uh, we are using uh, denoting that omega as omega n minus 3 by 2 okay that is of the nth interval this is n omega n minus 1 by 2 and this is om omega n minus 3 by 2 okay and for each discrete interval the value of pa omega and delta are can be calculated okay can be cal calculated like this okay and we are doing that and the solution starts from the initial condition values okay which corresponds to a stable operating point let delta zero be the angle corresponding to the initial operating point okay in the initial state we are considering the value of delta as delta zero and let us assume that the value of delta uh, and omega for n minus one th interval are known okay here delta n minus one means the value of delta at the end of n minus one th interval and the omega n minus one by two that we all, all discuss the value of omega at the end of n minus one th interval okay that is n minus one th interval omega n minus one by two and pa of n minus one value of pa at the end of n minus one th interval okay and uh, from the previous equation that is five uh, from five equation 5.89 okay this is the equation okay in the equation we are substituting the value of p as that is p a as taken as p a of n minus one is equal to p m minus p e instead of p e we are writing p max into sine delta of n delta of n minus one okay P A is equal to we know that is P M minus P E. Okay. P E is equal to P max into sine delta of n minus 1. And uh, the equation 5.89 can be rewritten as. Okay. That is D omega by D T is equal to P A by M. That is uh, equation is D square delta by D T square. That is here you can see D square delta by D T square is equal to P A by M. It is not D T. It is D T square. Okay d square delta by dt square is equal to p a by m so instead of that d square delta by dt square we are writing here d omega by dt where omega is the d delta by dt and d omega by dt of course we know that it is d square delta by dt square okay so the equation becomes d omega by dt is equal to p a by m and for small changes in delta okay uh, this equation can be uh, linearized as this delta omega by delta t is equal to p a by m and from that delta omega is equal to delta t into p a by m okay delta t into p a by m so here uh, for calculating the nth interval okay nth interval value of omega okay the in nth interval value of omega is omega n minus 3 by 2 in the previous figure it is clear that the nth interval value of omega is omega n minus 3 by 2 okay so it can be calculated as like this okay we are uh, writing an equation for delta omega delta omega means the change in omega okay from this figure delta omega means this this is the del uh, delta n minus 3 by 2 this is delta n minus 1 by 2 so delta omega means the de omega n minus 3 by 2 minus omega n minus 1 by 2 okay omega omega n minus 1 by 2 minus omega n minus 3 by 2 that that the, ch the changing that values okay so delta omega uh, can be written as like this and uh, in this equation we are substituting for delta omega and uh, we are writing instead of delta omega we are writing this value and p a s p a of n minus one okay so this equation becomes like this and from that we can find omega n minus three by two that is the value of omega at the end of nth interval so omega n minus three by two is equal to omega n minus one by two minus delta t by m into p a of n minus one okay and for small changes in, um, in delta okay for small change we have found the value of omega here and for small changes in delta we can write 
omega is equal to delta delta by delta t okay omega is b delta by dt we know that for small changes in uh, delta we can write omega as delta delta by delta t okay and for to solve for this change in delta okay in n minus 1 th interval okay uh, put delta delta is equal to delta delta of n minus 1 and omega is omega n minus 3 by 2 okay so if you are substituting that here instead of this delta delta okay this delta delta will be equal to omega into delta t okay so delta instead of this delta delta we are substituting delta delta n minus 1 and uh, t instead of t it is delta t okay this delta t and uh, omega is omega n minus 3 by 2 okay the value of omega at the end of n to the okay omega n minus 3 by 2 so for similarly for change in delta in nth interval put uh, delta delta is equal to delta delta n and omega is equal to omega n minus 1 by 2 and uh, therefore delta delta n is equal to delta t into omega n minus 1 by 2 okay this delta n is the value of delta at the end of nth interval okay at the end of nth interval so we can write the equation for delta n as delta n minus 1 plus delta delta n okay the previous value of delta plus the change in value of delta n okay so the above process of computation is repeated to obtain this p a of n and uh, delta delta of n plus 1 can be found using these equations and all okay and also this from that we can calculate this delta n plus 1 instead of this delta n we can find delta n plus 1 okay and the solution of delta of t is thus obtained in discrete form over the desired length of time the normal desired length of time is 0 0.5 second okay desired length of time that is delta t 0 0.5 second the continuous form of solution is obtained by drawing a smooth curve through the discrete values okay the discrete values are like this and if you are drawing a smooth curve obtain the continuous solution okay so uh, this is the point by point method for obtaining the solution of sync equation i hope all of you understand well so thank you